Welcome back, everyone, to the final segment of the night as we're continuing on in Virtue's Last Reward in the archives. Trying to figure out what the puzzle is to even in to begin with. So we have these slots where books went. And let's see. Here's the blue. Someone mentioned trying to put the books in that have the names of the books that we took out. So the blue book had Go Up. Which is the name of the red book. We can put it there. Okay, there's the row of red books. This would be where this came from, I assume. Actually, hold on. Uh, that one, all right. Where's the final row? I'm trying to remember now. They're easily easier to see when there were books in them. Because the books stood... Okay, there. that's the last one. Okay. Oh, wait. Is this where green came from? That looks like it's where green came from. Alright. Something happened. Can we use these as steps to get that lion? And yes, actual animation. Very impressive from Virtue's Last Reward. Alright. Can we do something here? Sigma. Let's see what we can do with this lion. So I guess we're not actually doing anything with the lion. We just needed it as a container for this memory card. Okay, let's plug the memory card in there. I think a puzzle is going on here, Sigma.
Roll the six dice to move them to where they need to go. Alright, so we have to decide where they need to go. Perhaps that bookmark will tell us. That is the shape. So we have to get the colors to go... Hmm. Let's see, Let uh, I'll try moving a die and see what happens. Oh, also bring up the paper. Okay, we move them one at a time. Oh, they don't they not not only have to match up with colors, they have to match up with the dots. All right. So green goes on that that first one. No, not that. That one. Okay. It has to be 3. That's four. And there's three. Okay, it's three. Then, let's see, go take this other green one, which has to be four. Six. It's not what we need. We need four. This could take a while. There we go. Four. Okay. All right. Blue is the first and third ones going down. And then... Oh, not that one. This one. Okay, then we have six and one. Yeah, there's six. Move that. Hmm. Not quite what I needed. <laughs> uh, both, neither of them are quite right, are they? Nope. Both of you are in the same wrong positions. I need you to not be like that. Uh, not quite. Are you still... Um... Doesn't the orientation of the dots matter for this? Yeah, that's that's why I'm rolling them around so much. Just roll them around in a circle. No, that, that doesn't seem to be changing anything. There we go. There we go. I don't know how I did that, but I have that one now. Okay, okay, six, six, okay, six, okay, then we need two, and we need five. We're getting there. We're doing this thing. That's not, that's not uh, where we, no, no, that is where we need the five. Okay. Got lucky. And two. Okay. So aside from that bit with the blue die, that ended up not actually taking that long. 
the reds just fell into place afterwards. I kind of like to imagine Sigma doing this in real life. No, no, actually, he wasn't doing it in real life. That was just on the screen. But I do like to think about how Sigma was just kind of poking at the die with his finger. Make them roll over. Can't just pick them up and put them right down. Alright, here's a password. Alright, we got one. Now, of course, in every puzzle room, there is a blue one. Now, I think the only thing we really haven't done... Can I look at the books again? I don't... maybe not. The blue pass has to do with the series of numbers on the back of the book. I was kind of thinking that. But I don't think I can actually look at the books. And is there anything I can do with the stand at this point? Oh, we can just play this game again. Take the books out? I don't know if I can take the books out. You think it's the same game, but the dots don't need to match? I assume that there must be... something that we can do with that. Uh, I'm, I'm t tapping on that obvious red book. It doesn't seem like it's letting me look at it, though. Does anyone who has played the game know if I can take these books back? Because I did not write the numbers down that were on the back of them. Try the colors, ju show just the colors on the bookmark. The, the numbers, so when I was doing the puzzle before, did I just have to do the numbers? Did I not actually have to worry about the colors? And now it's about colors? So the first time I did it, I did both numbers and colors, but didn't have to do that? Is that what people are saying? No, I did need to do both. I would have thought so. I wouldn't have thought it just would have been the one. Because that would have been real easy. Okay. That's kind of surprising that the blue password is just that. Okay. I mean, I'm not complaining that it was that easy. The game didn't crash. What, can it crash in this room? <laughs> Alright, archives... So anything unique in this safe?
Nope, just more AB game rules. So it's the map, it's the rules, and the key. Nothing very interesting in this one. So now that we have that, one more thing to do. Hmm. On this list, one password to go. There's the gold file, and that means we've gotten everything in this room, we have completed it, so it's time to get out of here. So that puzzle room was relatively painless. We got through it pretty quickly. That di uh, that dice thing seemed like it had the potential to become frustrating, but fortunately things fell into place. Is this another warehouse? It looks like it. There's graffiti on the wall here too. It's something different, though. Yep, it says Memento Mori if the ninth lion ate the sun. And we have now encountered nine puzzle rooms with nine lions eating suns. Did... did they make a mistake? Uh, that isn't how you spell it. They added that E to ninth, but why? What does it mean? A conditional relating to whether or not a lion has eaten the sun? But what on earth does that mean? It just seems like gibberish. Look at that door over there. Doesn't it look just like the one on the other floor? Yeah, but there isn't anything written on this one. I don't see anything that looks like it might open it either. Of course it isn't. I mean, look at this thing. It's solid steel. From the other side, maybe? Hey, what's the deal with those doors over there? The ones that are glowing white. Do you think they could be chromatic doors? There are three of them. same color. Well, for all the other doors, we had to add colors together to make another color. In this case, we probably just have to make white instead.
An Ambidex gate has been opened. And I wonder who opened it? 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. <laughs> How did it happen? I don't know. Someone on one of the other teams must have opened one. I can't imagine who. All they'd need is one of the moon keys. Yep. I don't know. Why would they do that without waiting for everyone else to come back? We can ask them when we get there. Do you realize this is the last time we're going to see this? The last time when Dio is going to open that door early and everyone is all shocked that this happened? Come on! Allison and I haven't done anything. Dio apparently felt he didn't need to wait. Gasp! <laughs> you got a problem? Why? I don't remember saying anything about waiting until everyone got back to open the AB rooms. Sigma's right. We were able to get back quickly, but the others could still be stuck somewhere. Oh, thank goodness. You're all here. Yes. It's Quark, you see. He... Oh, what could have happened to Quark? What? What happened to Quark? He collapsed. It happened so suddenly, we were just searching our room. What? Please, you must hurry to the infirmary. And this is also the last time Quark is going to come down with Radical Six. This condition could change at any moment. You should go. Oh no. Can we skip this? No. This is all new. We've never been down this timeline. Quark! Come on, kid. Get a hold of yourself! Okay, what are you doing? He's sick, and we don't even know what's wrong with him! What if you make him worse? <sighs> then what am I supposed to do? All I know how to do is shake! I have to save him! And shaking his shoulders will do this. Save? Well, that seems a little extreme. Maybe he just has anemia or something. No, that's not it. I know him better than any of you. He doesn't have anemia. He's never just collapsed before. Well, then call an ambulance and stop freaking out about it. You son of a bitch. This is serious! The infirmary seems pretty well equipped. There are plenty of diagnostic tools, but... Without a doctor, there's not going to be much we can do with him. 
Luna? Uh, that's right. I remember Dio saying something. You have a medical license, don't you? Wait, really? Is that true, Luna? Um, well, yes, but... You have to take a look at him, then. I might be able to skip by now? Well, we'll see. Please. Oh, there it goes, yeah. Okay, I guess we've run into something new now. Okay, so Sigma's going over what we had in the archives, so that would be new text. We did not find any Excelivir in the archives. What about you, Kay? Was there any medicine in your room? I'm terribly sorry. There was nothing of the sort in the garden. Plenty of vegetation, but unfortunately, no medicine. Oh god. Then he's... He's going to... Oh god, no. The pantry. There was tons of food everywhere, but nothing. Well, at least in this timeline, we know Dio had the pleasure of going through the pantry. Quark? Alright, Quark's up, and it's time to free the soul. Oh, okay, and in this one, Alice also comes down with the Radical Six. And we should probably stay in here as for short of a time as possible. Well, sometimes she might be found in the garden.
So she was not in the garden, which probably means she's going to end up in the crew quarters once again. Yep, no one at all. No point in searching these rooms. Also the last time that we'll find Alice dead. We're all going to die. I'd rather die here! Oh, what? All right. Wait, how did that happen? That wasn't a to be continued. Let's take a look at what that says on the flow chart. It it's a what? That's a plot lock, but it says it's unlocked. That's what a locked one looks like. It's black. That one's green. So, uh, all right. So it's if even though we already got the information we needed to unlock it, I guess the game had to end there for some reason. I don't know. But uh yeah, there's no game over listed. We got a game over, but it does not appear on this on this chart. But apparently, Sigma was so stricken by finding Alice's, uh, Alice's corpse that he just dropped dead, I suppose. Um, but I guess that's where we're going to end the stream for tonight. Next time, well, let's take a look at what our options are. We have this, of course. We have Phi's Lock, where 
people have said that we need a lot of information before we can actually end Phi's timeline. And that is everything that we have that we could do at this point. We have Quark's Lock, so maybe we'll get something next time that we can use to unlock that. And, of course, we have to solve the mystery of the Two-Headed Lion over in Luna's Timeline. So, not a whole lot to go. We have the remainder of Luna's Timeline, the remainder of Quark's Timeline... We have two, a choice to make in Sigma's timeline, the AB game, and then the, and that. And then, at some point, we're going to have to go back to Fi's timeline, and I assume Fi's is going to extend. Um, and then we'll be finishing that. So it seems that things are starting to wrap up in Virtue's Last Reward. Someone asking, do we have the not have the username? Yeah, we have the password which K gave to us, it was Milkavoli, but no one has been able to give us the username. Getting closer to that, getting closer to finding all what we need to defuse the bombs, we need to find the final password, and we need to find the location of the number zero bomb, and then we should have all we need to actually do this in one of these timelines. But who can say which one it will be? So, thank you for coming to the stream tonight. I hope you had fun. I had lots of fun going through Virtue's Last Reward tonight and getting a game over. For I, I still don't know why we got that game over. I guess we're going to start it up next time and we will just uh, just start from where we died, except we won't die for some reason. At least that's what I'm going to assume. And that's correct. The next stream is in two weeks, because next week is the final Saturday of the month, which means we're taking a break, and we'll be back in the first Saturday of June. So, thanks everyone for coming, hope you had a good time, and I hope that you consider these weighty issues and revelations and such that we have discovered tonight in Virtue's Last Reward over the next two weeks. And we'll be back next time with more Virtue's Last Reward, more Bully Demise, more Space Funeral, as we continue our march towards the end of Zero Escape, Virtue's Last Reward, as we eventually will discover the answers to all questions. Have a good night. I'll see you next time.